Jackals are native to this landscape and are its top natural predators. As the day progresses, the water hole becomes busier Most of its visitors come here to drink, but some, like the pied wagtail, are attracted to the insects at the water's edge. These are spotted doves. For mongooses, partridges and a variety of other creatures, Point Calamere is a vital refuge, but the sanctuary faces many threats. From a watchtower, the forest may look endless, but from higher up, its true size is revealed, a mere 18 square kilometers. And even this is under threat from a cancerous growth that is spreading fast, a tree called Rosopis juliflora. An invasive alien species from South America Prosopis was introduced into India for firewood and has spread far and wide. The ponies, aliens themselves, are its main allies in Point Calamere. They feed on the pods and spread the seeds everywhere through their dung, taking root easily in the sandy soil. Prosopis has been advancing rapidly all the way to the seashore. It's a hardy species that is difficult to eradicate, but if its spread isn't curtailed, the black buck will lose the open habitat they need. Prosopis has also begun to creep into the unique coastal forest, posing a threat to its biodiversity. In the wetlands too, all isn't well. Over the years, there's been a steep decline in bird arrivals. Until the early 1980s, an estimated 50,000 flamingos used to visit Point Calamere. Today, their numbers are down to a mere 10,000. The same trend is also seen with other species. Over 200,000 little stints used to winter in Point Calamere 20 years ago. Now, only about 50,000 arrive every year. Wild ducks, such as shovelers and pintails, used to flock by the thousands, but not anymore. And unlike in the past, the flamingos that visit Point Calamere now don't stay for long. After just a few weeks here, they head south to a lagoon near the temple town of Rameshwaram. Scientists believe that there may be several factors behind the bird decline in Point Calamere. Many of the rivers that fed the swamps have gradually dried up, reducing the inflow of fresh water. But there is a serious problem that makes it worse, salt production. Local people have been manufacturing salt here for over a century. But this small-scale operation is restricted to just one end of the swamp. Of more serious concern are two factories in the region that manufacture marine chemicals. For decades, the factories have been pumping in vast volumes of seawater into the swamps. The salt is concentrated through evaporation in holding pans covering thousands of acres, drastically increasing the salinity of the water and disrupting the fragile food chain. The resulting decrease in food is believed to be a major cause for the bird decline. In stark contrast, nearby wetlands without salt factories still continue to attract waterfowl in large numbers. 
like this marsh about 200 kilometers north of Point Calamir. The pumping of seawater into the swamps of Point Calamere needs careful study. It's possible that with proper water management, this immensely important wetland can be restored once again to become the bird paradise it used to be. Spring soon gives way to a long, scorching summer. The heat sucks the land dry. When the fish begin gasping for life, it's time for the birds to return to their homelands. Every day, the swamps are more deserted. Soon, even these birds will be gone. But hopefully, they will return in winter to liven up this little kingdom by the coast. <laughs>